going up against Cafe Ed's Mad KOF, who won King of Fighters last year. Really interesting to see that he's playing this game. I actually heard, was that you? Maybe somebody was telling me earlier that Korea is really picking this game up. No, that wasn't me. I think that might have been Michelangelo, because he told me the same thing right uh, before you know I did what? commentary. I think it was. I think yeah. it was. Yeah, he was really nervous. That's really interesting, I think. Yeah, he was really nervous about his next match because he felt that this guy, he's been getting hyped. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, it's interesting to see the game being picked up internationally. I know Korea is. I know Singapore is playing it. So it, it's cool to see. Okay, going with Ferris. And Shazam versus uh, who did Matt KOF go with? I, I didn't see. It, let's see if somebody who makes great use of Ferris yeah. might be... Or I guess... Oh, it's Nightwing. Nightwing. Okay. okay. So Shazam using Black Adam. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I just assumed it'd be Shazam, but I don't know why I did that. So Black Nightwing, Adam playing for the zoning game right now. Nightwing pretty much wants to stay in this stance in this matchup because he would not have the mobility in this staff, right. in this staff stance. Yeah, much lower jump. And he's okay with keeping his distance as well. Black Adam staking out of position. Yep, you I know, was you know he was right there. He was staking that spot out. Oh, I'm surprised nice. that went up to it. I really like that how Shazam followed up on that interact wall. A lot of people tend to miss that. It looks like he's been practicing it. Black Adam also a character that's easier to do with because he can just do that cloud. Oh, he drops it right there. Black Adam, one of the characters that was recently uh, normalized. Yeah, normalized, <laughs> yeah, nerfed. Let's see what Gotta watch do. out for the yes. There it is. Uh, you know, Matt, Matt KOF has just been running into these interactables. In the corner he did, in the mid screen he did. Gotta stop. And he as as Black Adam came up, you could see him starting to block low. Yeah. That's not the right yeah, idea exactly. against uh, against Black Adam. Yeah, the only low that you have to worry about Black Adam is his low lightning. Yep. Because he doesn't have any low starters or any low combos. So this lightning and, and down three. Yeah, so maybe uh Matt KOF just didn't know. Might be some matchup unfamiliarity. Yeah. But it's cool to see Mad KOF playing it. Yeah, I was really hoping uh, that Shazam guy would use Shazam. Right? Yeah, I know. We were talking about Shazam. <laughs> I don't know why we spent time doing that now. <laughs> so what's going on here? I don't know Thinking if you... Uh, stages. If you watched any of uh, UFGT pools, I did. Uh, there was uh, a Shazam player by the name of Heroic Legacy. He was um, the Mystery Game Tournament uh, champion from uh, UFGT 8. Mm -hmm. He was second, I think second or third place in uh, UFGT 9. Nice. He's really, really good with Shazam. Yeah, he yeah. has some really good tech. I know he was fighting Pig of the Hut, and their matches were just down to the wire. It was absolutely insane. So here we go. We are in... Uh, the, the Justice Hall League stage. Justice, yeah, there yeah. we go. The Hall of Justice stage. Yeah. Now, on one here. one cool thing that uh, Nightwing can do with that Roomba is that you, you saw how he just let go of it. Yeah. You can actually hold the interactable button, and then you can just wait and delay the 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 charge from the from the Roomba from coming at you. That was a great preemptive anti-air right there against the dive kick. Gets a little punish down one, not into too much. So he's trying out staff stance. You're right, he was playing in, in a scream of the, in the previous one the whole time, but I guess he's going to try this one out and see how it goes. I'm guessing he thinks that the ground sparks are going to be a good way to keep him in check. Yeah. It seems to be working so far. Right, and, and uh, he had he had the reaction anti-air against the dive kick as well. Yeah. Yeah, you can see whenever Black Adam goes up into the air, he, ju he jumps just in case. Yep. Really smart play right now for Matt KOF. Hopefully he doesn't use that interactable again. Okay, that was smart. Yeah, you see nice. what I'm talking about? As soon as he sees his opponent go up into the air, and again! Smart stuff. This is great adaptation from him. I'm really surprised. That's a. Hey, you don't get to be Evo Champ in a game. That's true. By being a wimp. <laughs> nice. nice use of the EX there to catch him when he was landing. Really smart adaptation. I agree. This is really impressive to see because it seems like he just was trying to figure it out. Yeah, and you see he accidentally did the wrong interactable there. Both interactables kind of collided near each other, so he got the bounce instead of the Roomba. And when you're in that position, right up close to, to uh, Nightwing, and he's mashing down one, you just got to block. Yep. Oh, okay, yes. Get some of the wake-up attack. You got to respect those wake-up attacks. They have invincibility, some of them at least. It's one main thing about Black Adam especially. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, so he's just chipping him out slowly. I mean... He's still on his first life bar, so he's pretty comfortable right now, I'd say. Yeah, Matt Kowip is in a great position. He's made it difficult for Shazam to approach with the dive kick. Yeah. And this this zoning game, 
is okay, but you know, it's just not really dealing the damage. That's nice. All right, now Hash Shazam needs to start making something happen. Back to Eskrima. See the extra mobility that he gets in there. Yeah. And he's got to worry about that statue right there. Potential issue right now. Nice jump back wingdings. It's extremely good strategy for Nightwing. That actually blows up a lot of characters. And check out the time now. If it's just chip damage from now until the end, I think Matt KOF's going to be fine. You can see him backing up. He has a bar of meter too. He can comfortably push block him away Ooh. just to keep him away oh, a little bit more. Chance. He still had clash ability though. Yeah, there, there you it go. Is. Yep. And he has two bars and of he's meter. He's going to win it, so yep. he's going to get full screen. He's going to be fine. Yeah, that is not a good situation for Shazam right no, now. I don't think there's anything you can do right Oh, well, maybe that. No, this not is gonna, gonna be enough, be, not yeah. fast enough. Mac OF taking the second game, one to one. That was really good adaptation from Matt KOF. That was so smart, yeah, to go from seemingly not uh, knowing that well what to do to figuring out some really key uh, tactics. Yeah, it was like that in, first in game. Round. That first game, he kind of forgot about staff stance, and the second game, he's like, oh yeah, I can just punish right, uh, yeah. his dive kick with a uh, jump too. That was a very, very smart play. Let's see how he does in game three. Starting out in an screaming now. That, remember, it was the stance that, the uh, staff, sorry, that really paid off for him last time. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, Shazam is not making use of the interactables right now. Me too. I thought that he would stake out that statue right there and just wait until Matt KOF got closer, but that doesn't seem what he's doing. Yeah, if I was Nightwing, I would try to get rid of it. Hopefully, maybe uh, place the bomb on him. Uh -huh. I wouldn't use the Roomba. It actually explodes early. It right, explodes it right before far. Hayachi's statue. Exactly, yeah. Oh, he... It looked like that crossed up for some reason with the way he landed in the air, but it, it wasn't. Matt KOF now back in staff. And you can see, again, whenever Black Adam is in the air, he does a little hop himself, yeah. just in case he reacts. Yeah, that's extremely smart. I'm. Oh, did he get some with the, the dive kick? Just got to wait it out. Yep, there it is. If you don't have something good with armor and invincibility. Now, I'm surprised he hasn't been making use of the Flying Grayson at all. That could also be used as an anti-air. Maybe he just doesn't want to risk the whiff and then get full combo punished. That would be smart. There we go. That's so good. Oh, watch out. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice, nice jump timing. I thought he was going to be stuck with lightning. Yeah. Meaty ground pound. Hash to Zam needs to make something happen right now. This is the exact same situation as the last game. Unfortunately, when, when he's jumping and he's trying to convince Mad KOF to do an anti-air, it's not like Mad KOF has to react with something big, something right. big with punishable. It's just a normal jump in a very fast uh, staff stance jump. I'm not sure why he switched stances. He was doing pretty well in staff stance. But maybe he just wants to keep him away with wingdings. Yeah, jumping wingdings seems to be his main strategy right now. Yeah, that's pretty smart. There you go. Jump to wingdings. Not looking good at all for Has Shazam right now. I'm just not. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. 14, yeah. 15, 14 seconds I left. Mean, he has no meter either, so yeah. I don't know what big combo that he can possibly do to no, make I this think, this comeback. I think this is effectively a check oh, situation. Oh, this could, But well, okay. This is uh, good. Uh, Enjoy this. Why do you insist? All right, probably gonna maybe match up. Yeah, they, they but got that's, a tie. That's I mean, that's bad for for Shazam. I mean, yep. He needed to win that, and he he couldn't. I mean, he can still try use the interactive, but just go all in. I don't know. Yeah, no, at he this can't, point, he can't what be else? Yeah, you might as well just try to dive kick, see if it works out. Yeah, and, it and there you so go. Matt KOF after losing the first game makes a great adaptation.